single incision for fasciotomy of the lower leg. Fasciotomy of the lower leg can be done with two incisions, which is the standard technique, or it can be done by a single lateral incision with or without fibulectomy. The single posterolateral incision is different than our incision. Here the incision is made just posterior to the fibula along the lateral border of the gastrocnemius. Our incision is anterolateral incision and is placed halfway between the fibular shaft and the tibial crest. This video will describe the technique that we developed that will allow for the release of all four compartments of the leg with one single lateral incision. We use the paratibial route from the anterior compartment to release the deep posterior compartment rather than the transfibular route or the parafibular route from the posterior aspect of the fibula. Our incision allows for a faster fasciotomy with a small soft tissue wound and avoids potential damage to the neurovascular bundle. The fasciotomy also can be done at bedside if the patient is sick or if the situation is urgent or if there is no operating room available for the patient. This is how we do the single incision for fasciotomy of the lower leg. The initial skin incision is made halfway between the tibia and the fibula. Release the anterior compartment and the lateral compartment. The superficial posterior compartment is located and released after retracting the perineal muscles anteriorly. A cup or a retractor may be used for this purpose. The deep posterior compartment is released by retracting the tibialis anterior muscle laterally from the tibia, then incising the interosseous membrane. When you feel the posterior aspect of the tibia, that means that the posterior compartment is released and entered. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.